Hello everybody, so there's two reasons why you want to reset your computer. One, because it's not working properly, and two, because you want to sell it and you don't want all your information to be seen or known by the other person where you're selling to. So, in my case, I just kind of reset it because it's not working properly. So the first thing you're going to do is turn on the computer and hold down on Command R as you turn back on your computer. Just hold it until you see something like this happening and then you're gonna release it. It might be a little while depending on your computer. And then you're gonna see this screen where it's gonna show you this menu. And right here it's asking me to choose a language. So I'm just gonna so select your desired language depending on what country you are from. And then when you see the main menu, we're gonna select this utility and then we're gonna click on continue. On this screen, we're gonna select our hard drive. In my case, it's gonna it's gonna be AOS Studios. And then what we gotta do is actually we're gonna erase the entire hard drive. So we're gonna select erase on the top of this menu. And just make sure that your format is actually APFS. So just click on erase, and it's gonna take a few minutes um, to clean the whole hard drive. So you have to wait for for a little while. All right, so it's done. So we're gonna hit done and we're gonna go back and then close this window on the red dot on the left corner. And then we go back into the main menu and we're gonna select reinstall Mac OS. Then the key continue. And then in my case, it's Mac OS High Sierra. I mean, in yours could be something else. I mean, the new one, just click continue. And then you're gonna go to the whole process of installation. And then you have to agree, agree. And then select your hard drive where you want to install the Mac OS High Sierra. And right here it says 60 minutes, so I'm gonna speed it up and then come back. So now we're back. I mean, the computer is restarting. Cool. So I guess we're back now, and then we're gonna select our country where we're located at. In this case, United States, and click Continue. We select the type of keyboard that we want to use. And then remember, you had to connect into the internet right away. So now we're going to customize our setting, depends on what we need. Just go through the whole windows and read very careful what you need and what you don't need to do. In my case, I don't want to transfer any information from any other computer, so I just want pretty much clean. I keep continuing. Right here is when you uh, enter your Apple ID or do you create one if you don't have one. Click continue and they're going to prompt you to enter your password. Continue again and then, and then um, they're going to send you um, a code either to your phone or to you to whoever um, other device that is that is actually signing with your Apple ID. And once you get it, just type it in here, and then you should, you should be good to go. Boom. Then you just agree, agree, and right here you can actually uh, create the name on your computer, or you can create a new one. I mean, you can keep the old name or you create a new one. And it will take you, and it will set up your, and it will set up your iCloud. And uh, as far as the keychain, I I'm not too familiar with it, so I'm just gonna set it up later, and then click continue. And this is gonna do express it up because um, a lot, uh, some of the files are on, on your iCloud, which is fine with me. And then just click continue, and it should take only a few minutes to do that. And boom, now you're on the desktop. And basically that's pretty much the end of the story. So um, as you can see, it's pretty clean. You only have a few applications on the desktop. And then now the process starts to reinstall everything. It might take a few hours, probably a year, uh, not a year, <laughs> a day, a full day to do this. Uh, it took me actually a full day to do this. And then, um, but that that's it. I mean, now your computer should be running faster, smooth and you should be good to go and then for now you have to be careful and don't install unnecessary programs that might you know slow down your computer or 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 else okay um that's about it uh thanks for watching please like and subscribe my video and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye